Gentlemen, 12 round, 147 pound championship of the world. There's the line right there, right at the top. There's the line right there, right at the top of that. Touch him up, good luck. Come out at the bell. Well, this is it for Kell Brook. Time to deliver. What can he do against this busy champion? Who you know is going to come out aggressive. We expect him to come out aggressive because that's how he usually fights. Maybe he'll be a little bit cagier against an opponent. He said he certainly respects. He thinks Kell Brook is the best technician he's ever faced. And the first couple of rounds, so crucial for Kell Brook. He's got to make a solid start. He's got to get this fella's respect. Because if you don't get that, you're in big trouble. Round one, this battle for the IBF welterweight title. Sean Porter in the red, white, and blue. Kell Brook in the red. Kell getting the job off nice and quickly. That's Good what, stuff. Yep, that's what he needs. So often you see challengers come in and they just freeze on the big occasion. And Kell did look very, very tight as he was coming to the ring. Hardly surprising given the magnitude of the occasion. A little bit rough and ready there, Porter. Brook just Stop digging in a couple of little Stop shots punching. to the body there. Porter not doing any damage. But he's very good at getting his feet in and getting in range and then getting out of trouble. But he's also open, especially to those straight right hands. He does come in with those wide hooks, he loves them. That could present opportunities for a hard, straight, sharp punter. Puncher right, like Kel Brook. Go, Kel. Just missed there. And the opportunity. Well, he's trained a couple of good jabs there, uh, Kel, but you can see the constant movement there. Good stuff there from Porter. You see, you know, he doesn't have a lot of credit for his boxing skills, but yep, he's not quite as crude as maybe some people think. A lot of upper body movement as he comes forward, very strong up close. There you can see him as he comes forward, there slipping the stuff. And that's good stuff from, from Porter. Pinning Brook in the corner. But not landing clean, Jim. Brook did a pretty tidy job defensively there of slipping punches. But that is one thing we know for certain about Kel Brook. He's never faced an opponent who will just be buzzing away at him all night long like this. I think he's surprised it from the jab of Porter. It's quicker than he expected. And again, another opponent who thinks they're out of range. But Porter still finds the target. Not with anything solid, but he's landed a couple of jabs of his own. To Kelly, you know, he, he looks solid. He's keeping his shape, but yet he wants to come forward a little bit more often as this one goes along. Porter looked to try and bait him in there, and Kel wasn't buying it. And then was uh, was out of range again. Almost got caught with a counter there, Porter. He was open, but then he's very good when he does launch in. How quickly he gets on his opponent's chest. There you go. Uh, Brooks just has to be careful he doesn't grab too often up close. We don't know how strict this referee is. Trying to get the jab going. Just no rhythm in, in the opening round from Brook as yet. Early days, no panic. And I think Porter's looked by far the busier in the first three minutes. He certainly has, and he landed a decent little left hook to the body there in that exchange. And Brook doing a decent job of slipping a lot of this stuff, but... Right on the bell there. As a surprise as the rest of us, and how quick and how accurate Porter was. Well, Brook had his moments in that first round, a couple of early jabs, but Porter far the busier and probably the more eye catching work as well. I think uh, Brook showed right at the end, right on the bell, they had the power to hurt Porter. Come with a lovely shot. Just uh, Porter lost his composure. But, uh, too little, too late as far as winning the round goes. But you can see already what a little buzz saw. Porter is just non stop and difficult to pin with counters because of the upper body movement. Oh, missing going on here. Oh, he just caught him there, did he? Or was that a push down? He landed a punch and then he just bit Porter. And it was a push. That's better. Porter lunging in again. Let him go. Go. Let him go. Stop. Don't behind the head. Don't do that. Don't go behind the head on And straight back in. Look. He's going to have to keep his attention. Every second of this fight, Kel Brook, he will never have been put under pressure like this. Now, Brook's finding it difficult to time the jab. 
you know, well enough to stop the march forward of Corker. He has to get the jab timed a little bit better. It's easier said than done, as I say, but that was better. Can he do something to slow Porter down? Porter slows. The odds will tilt decisively in Kel Brook's favour, and he made a mistake then lunging in. Well, that was a little bit wild from Brook. He's holding up close, he's going to have to be careful. Seems the referee, no, he's OK. Nothing to say about it. Porter will miss a lot, as he did then, but there's just a volume of punches, and off gets through, that was a nice left hand from Brook. Got a really large support group here, Stop. family and friends. Somebody wearing a Sheffield United shirt up in the cheap shit, cheap seats. No, it's not Curtis Woodhouse. Another decent right hand and follow up again. Good work this from Brook. And then Porter goes to the body. But Brook starting to settle down. Brook just not been allowed to find any rhythm in his boxing, and that's what he depends on. You know, he, 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 the, the impression is that he's under the cosh here from Porter. Porter not landing a lot of clean shots. He's, he's got a cut, he's cut on the left eye as well, Brook. Missing again that Porter and a nice counter again. Brook, I, yeah, I think he's settling stuff. well here, Jim, I really do. Yeah, some good stuff, some quality punching. From Brook, he's doing an awful lot of holding, that's what worries me. This guy's strong, so I, th I think it's just a natural thing to grab hold. Round three. Sean Porter defending his IBF welterweight title against Sheffield's Kel Brook. Both fighters unbeaten. Porter has that draw we were talking about earlier against Julio Diaz. Decisively avenged. Porter coming up fast once again. Well, this is it. He, he, I mean, assuming this fight doesn't get stopped, he'll be doing this all night. Right hand lands from Brook, who has got to find something to slow Porter down. He just goes and goes. Again, nice work from Brook, making Porter miss. And back he is, on him again. Brook getting the right hand through and then looking to hold as Porter tries to go to work. And Porter showing some strength there, just spinning Brook round. I mean, how often do we see Brook as the physically dominant fighter? Not in this one. And that's what Porter's doing, is just showing him, you know, everything he's got up close. Look at this, the shoulder coming in, bullying him, pushing him around. Not really doing so much, it's, it's so much good work in this round. Porter, Brook landing a couple of decent shots, needs to take the initiative. He's just to find a little bit more confidence Keep in what he's doing, the Brook. Start putting punches together, it's kind of single jabs we're seeing from him. Damaged eye, but there's uh, quite a bit of swelling and redness coming up under, in fact, on the cheekbone, the left cheekbone of Sean Porter. That eye is uh, starting to bleed as well. I mean, this is good stuff from Porter. He's not really landing any point scoring stuff at the moment. He's just kind of manhandling Brook, just think, trying to bully him. And I think trying to wrap up that eye as well. And look at that, you see Brook just pouring at the blood that's going into the eye. That's becoming a concern now. And Brook's landing some decent punches, but there's still the impression that he's the one, you know, under the cosh a little bit. But uh, I don't think uh, Porter's delivered too much in this round. Watch the one around the back of the head. Three marks, three of those hands, don't hit behind the head. He's just stop relentless, punching. isn't he? Brook just not getting a breather. And Brook not being allowed to find any smoothness in what he's doing. Uh, nice Caught him, there, though, caught him there. again and then got out. Covered it nicely and then Porter tries to uh, do some razzle-dazzle stuff. But that was clean and clever from Brook. I think Brook would have fancied he could have hurt Porter by now. And it hasn't really happened. I mean, Brook is used to, when, when he catches opponents, then it, get respect. But hasn't done that as yet. But I think this has been a decent round for Brook. Yeah. Landed a lot of good stuff. And still a long way to go, of course, as well. And those butterflies seem to have settled and sorted themselves out now. He did look nervous at first. He's settled now. Enjoying this. He, he, he likes to get rhythm. He likes to get movement. He likes to put punch, uh, combinations together. He's not been allowed to do any of that. Round four of this 12 rounder. 
Pulls him again nicely. You're holding now, you're stretching. Coming in, but yeah, but when he continued to inflict some damage here, was just not dominating him, is he? But Porter, crude and lunging, but so busy, so aggressive. All right, stop, stop with his head up. Tremendous head up. physical strength. Brook forced onto the back foot consistently with this. She likes that awkwardness of Porter, but it's so difficult to deal with. He drops his hands, waves his head in front of opponents, then charges in. And he's not easy to, to time well with the counters. Good body shot. And Porter lunging in and holding. And just trying to bully and overwhelm Kel Brook. Only four with your head. It's clearly part of the strategy here, unsurprisingly. <laughs> Busy again, trying to work downstairs, and now it's Brooke that's forced to hold. Because one of those body shots hurt him. That's the problem for Brooke, you know. He always looks as though he's the one under pressure. Porter always looks like he's in the, the driving seat. Even when he's not landing cleanly, you know, he's taking the initiative, he's looking at the, the boss. Well, that was one thing I thought coming to this fight, Jim. I thought it's going to be virtually impossible for Kelbrook to win this on points simply no, no, because Porter is just so out. busy every minute of every round. John, you're holding two. Let's go. Yeah, well, Kel's going to have to start putting punches together, I think, to impress the judges. Because the feeling is that he's been the one bulldozed around the ring. Missed there and got caught with a couple of body shots in reply. He's holding again. Yeah, that's a couple of times he's been holding from body shots. The referee hasn't gone for thank you. Like a solid left uppercut from Porter. Right, and he's starting to make a bit of a breakthrough here, Sean Porter. This is not the kind of fight that Kel Brook enjoys, I'm afraid. Body shot. Well, he's targeting the body. I think he senses that. Uh, but Brooks been shaken up by a couple of these body shots. And the right hand gets through. Porter took it very well. And a good uppercut though from Porter as they we, we reach the last 10 seconds and a referee again that's just letting them go all the time. Dangers with the head. They're talking about rubbing the forehead. Then didn't like that. Well, that. That was not a good round for Kel Brook. What can he do? Just let restore the balance a little bit here. As you say, Jim, he's giving the impression, Porter, of winning every round just by his work rate. And clearly won that last round. No, 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 you've got free hands. Yeah, he's out hustling uh, Stop. Brook. Stop. Break. Just not allowing You're Brook to do inside, what right? he's good Stop. at. I think they've come in with a good plan. Just taking all of the smoothness away from Kel Brook. And always just right, looking out, that bit busier. And and look at the, looking like the guy who's in charge. Well, it was always going to be a, a battle of styles, wasn't it? And uh, you fancy whoever could impose his style on the other man was going to win this one. And at the moment, Port is dragging Kel Brook into the kind of fight he wants it to be. Brook reaching, lunging, missing. And you've got to hope that we'll get past the halfway stage, maybe the pace will slow, but uh, we've seen Porter before. He doesn't really slow much in the second half of the fights. Terrific engine he has. There's a free hand right there. Punches. I mean, they're here, there, and everywhere, the punches, but they just keep coming. And eventually, enough meaningful shots get through. And again, Porter got a body shot in, and that's a nasty looking right hook to the body there. And every time he lands clean to the body, Brooke is either backing up or holding. Nice little response from Kel Brook, but not enough. Here he is again, and oh, he's so good at like slipping it. inside that lead. He's just walking through. What Brook's got, just walking straight up to him. He's worked not all that clean, but it's non-stop. And he's just pushing Brook around. Not been a potent weapon in this fight. He's got to build on. That's what he's got to do. He has to put, you know, combinations out, single punches, 
against the, the work rate of Porter, not going to get him anything. Porter dangerous again with that head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's nasty. There's yeah, a lovely fellow outside the ring. Nasty piece of work, isn't it? Watch your head What's the head boring away there? Yeah, that's uh, the referee has blatant. to have a word about that. That was blatant. No, he's Pat Russell to it. says nothing. There you go. That's the, the advantage of us boxing at home, I think. But again, he's right, looking the bully, go. isn't he? Go head go. again. Free hand. You got a free hand punch up. Stop. Break. Step out. Thank you. Take a step back. Brooke just not been allowed to do anything. Not allowed to set anything up, string anything together. Free hand Here he comes again. Brooke landing a right hand. Really aggressive, all action, and that head. Again. So, uh, Sean Porter in his corner there with his father, Kenny Porter, who uh, is one of those exponents of something they're starting to do more and more over here, of uh, getting their boxers to work with blindfolds on. And, uh, Fred Jenkins, the Philadelphia trainer, does that with Bryant Jennings, the heavyweight. And the idea is that uh, it builds a, a bond of trust. <laughs> Sounds a bit new age, but hey, whatever works. Brooks trying to stand his ground this time. He's just taking a big right hand, one of those long, sweeping right Let hands. Go, the Porter Let so go. good at it. He was trying to claim the centre of the ring there and stand his ground. Brooke, be good if he could manage that. Well, Brooke was saying, wasn't he? If he needs to get involved in a war, that's go, what he's going to do. And I think that time is coming, because we're in round six here. And even though he's having moments of success, the perception is that Porter is bossing this, and Brooke has got to do something about that. And that Porter is the, uh, the boss, and Brooke has got to make something happen. And there he goes again, oh, terrific work with the left hand up close. Totally winning the inside battle, Sean Porter. Yeah, but just Straight back on him, just look at that. Not a nanosecond of breathing room. He's on him again, trying to turn him again, bully him, intimidate him. But that was a good right hand that Brook landed. Does it slow him down? Not one bit. No, Brook has tried everything he knows to try to claim the centre of the ring in this round. He's had successes, landed some good solid punches, but this guy just keeps coming. Yeah, Porter taking a couple of backward steps. All right, free hand, stop him up. Just setting Break. a trap. He's trying to take a little breather himself. A little faint. Uh, I think. I think uh, he's cut right eye. Yep, yep. So Porter in a bit of trouble now, and missing again. But lunging in, still coming, but. Better defensively there from Brook. Right, protected the midsection. Headbutt. We'd like to see Brook go through the gears here and continue Watch to build on whoa, whoa, whoa. Step out. the little moments he's headbutt. been having in the last couple of rounds. I mean, Porter is getting away with a lot, charging in with the head down. That's a good jab from Brook. And again, good right hand. That's what he needs to do. He needs to put punches together, single shots. I'm not good. I think he's having a good round here. Still under pressure but standing his ground a lot more often. Well, he is so tough. Everybody who knows him says there is no quit in him at all. He's not the kind of fellow that will fold when the going gets tough. I mean, we all remember that first Carson Jones fight. The first one off his stool there. So the first six rounds in the record books. Round seven. Can Kel Brook come on strong here in the later rounds? because Porter has put a lot of work into these first six rounds. And Brooke is still there. The next couple of rounds are absolutely crucial. If Brooke can build a bridgehead here, he might have a real chance, but Porter, all action, fist like pistons, just pumping away. I mean, it must be demoralizing. You know, Brook really started the round well, he had a couple of solid shots. And then again, forced right onto the defensive. But this is good, I like the fact he's on the front foot a lot more often now. Oh, a good shot. That really from was. Porter. Wicked left hook from Porter. Go, no wonder Brook's hanging on here. Stop, don't punch. He does throw from unorthodox, unexpected angles, doesn't he? We saw that against Devon Alexander, of course, Paulie Malinaji. 
felt the full force. Right, you're holding him. Let that hand go. But stop. Yeah, I think his, his arms are longer than you expect. You know, you think are out of range, but he still gets you. Still gets the punches home, but he is, he's crude. Let him go. You know, he's been accused of being crude, but I think really this is the plan he's come in with to take the smoothness away from Brooke, and he's doing it any way he can do it. Let him go. Stop. Right. Step back. Don't, hit, don't lean in with your head. Don't lean in with your head. Brooke just hasn't uh, been able to land those clean right hands down the middle as much as he would have liked. Right hook to the body oh, we got a from Porter once go. again as Brooke just dived in and got caught with the counter. Yeah, well, Porter showing here that he doesn't need to take, make the first move. He can come back with three and four counters. Oh, let us head out. Let it out. No punch. Keep your head up. This is the bundle of energy non stop. Grab those hands. Let him go. Punch your way out. Again, looking as though he's the one with the initiative. Let him go. Stop. Quick. Let's go. And that's not where like Kelbrook does his best work. Tied up. Better. Couldn't quite land a clean right hand off the back of the double jab. Well, Porter taking a little breather here on them, and then he catches another one of those unorthodox left hands. And Brooke took the full force of that. They do re really do come in from all over the place. See, so heavy handed, you know, he doesn't have to set himself to get power into the show. Oh, good right uppercut. And Porter's in trouble. Brooke got him with an uppercut. Now, can he capitalise? He was definitely buzzed there, Porter. Porter with another right hand, and the bell. A couple more of those would come in very handy for Kel Brook. Round eight. All right, you got, got free a long hand. way go. to come back, Jim. Let him go. Punch your way out. Don't need me. Your card Stop. is accurate. Let's go. Shine your holes. Let's have to All shut him out here. Three down. He's going to have to dominate these later rounds if he can't put him away. See, that's been the problem. Even the Mentor, if he's not landing cleanly, you know, he's throwing so many punches and looking as though he's bullying Brook. But, uh, you know, when we see Brook here could go on the front foot, but always an answer. Porter always coming back with something. He's quite happy on the back foot at the moment. Straight left, but look at that. Good response once again from Porter. A bit ragged there. All right, let that hand go. Stop. This Break, the, uh, the hit. phase of the fight that uh, Jim McDonald, the, uh, the WBA bantamweight champion, thought Brook might just really take over and maybe even force a stoppage. All right, both of you hold it, don't punch. Stop. Really hoping Break. for his own big world yeah, title fight stateside sooner rather than later. Let's see if he's right, because. There's less work coming from Sean Porter in this round. He's doing it on the back foot. You know, he, he's still responding to everything that comes at him, but he's doing it on the back foot. He's not taking charge the way he was doing it. So why, why is he doing it on the back foot? Has he been shaken? Or is it just a change of tactics? If it is, it's not working for him. And Brooke looks stronger for the first time in the fight. I got it. Stop. Watch, watch your hands. Watch your hands. This is encouraging for Kel Brook. Now, is he just taking a breather here, Porter? All right, let the hands go. That was Stop. very Break. crude and lunging. Yeah, not the same Swing intensity. Swinging away, yeah, yeah nothing there at all. Didn't see the same strength in that one. Let it go, let it go, Kel, let it go. Stop. Break. Some cheers Stop. for Kel Brook are being drowned out by the Americans in the arena. Let it go. Porter is still flailing away, but having less success and his eyes getting pretty messy yeah well it's rough stuff but uh, full credit to, to Brooke he's giving as good as he's getting maybe a little bit better yeah, changing tactics from Porter is it because he's blowing a bit still dangerous with that head up close he's still a long way to go in this fight four rounds after this the rounds just flashing by though don't hold his head Cal Brook just oh, stay on top of this fella. He just doesn't quit, does he? Right, I gotta stop. But the Get whole back. method Watch your head. and what uh, Porter has done in this round, you know, he's just been driving himself forward without any there real goes. plan. Break, step. I think it's been a decent round for Brook. Kept his composure, Time. kept his boxing together. Cal Brook clawing his way right back into this. Round nine, three more to go. 
Can Brook keep the pressure on here? Catches him with a left hook. And then Porter looks to try and land a left hook of his own. Grab your hands, both of you. Stop. Don't throw shows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And again, leaning in with his head and uh, a look at the referee from Kel Brook, but he's getting no support from that quarter. Nor should he expect it. Him, Kel, let him go. Now the referees been pretty lenient, uh, there you go. lenient in, in some ways towards Brook, but uh, the, the dangerous head work. Porter trying to raise the pace again here. Yeah, right, can he do it for a full Don't three minutes? Frank, can Brook do it for a full three minutes? In his training camp out in the Canary Islands. And some of it in South Sheffield, of course, Stop. and finished off the last couple of weeks in Las Vegas. Caught with that straight left there, Brook. And not imposing himself the way he was. Caught with a left hand, Brook. Let him go, Kill. Let him go. Well, I expected to see more skill from Porter than we're seeing at the moment. He's uh, let him go. Just driving himself forward. Stop, There's no real plan in what he's doing. He's trying to do it in what rate, just trying to bully Brook. He's never allowed Brook to settle. That, that's been the obvious plan right from the off. And what he's doing here in this round is stopping Brook landing any clean punches of his own. Yeah, and just uh, using the, the heavy handed punches of his own. This is really crude stuff from him, but uh, as you say, Brook not been allowed to do anything. you got to pick your head up too. The referee really is, uh, this is a timid performance from him. I mean, he, he needed to jump in, and Brook, Brook had his back turned to uh, his opponent. You know, this is another round where Porter looks to be the, the busy of the two. That, that was bad. Oh, was... Right on cue, but Porter looks for a response. And he has Brook backed up into a neutral corner, and again, swarming away. Punches landing, and so many missing, and then getting caught with counters. Really gutsy effort this from Brook, who is refusing to be intimidated here. And is proving whatever the result, he is genuinely world class. Let him go, Kel, let him go, let him go, Sean. Stop. Great. Now, Porter is a nightmare opponent for anybody. Because of the strength, the swarming tactics, the non-stop, the energy. Finish off that round. He's a nightmare. Great. Take a step. And that cut of his getting worse and worse. And the cleaner work of Brook might make this a really, really close fight. One of those what you like fights. I still think it's going to be very, very hard for him to get a decision in Los Angeles. I really do. Call me a, call me a cynic if you like, but Jim, you got him three rounds up, Porter, which means Brook's got to put him on the floor to have any chance at all. Others, of course, may see it differently. This is a level when I, when I see Brook in the centre of the ring, pushing Porter back and making the first move, but single punches are no good. See, throws a single punch and look what comes back at him. He does look tired by Porter. I'm surprised at that. What if flurries and bursts? If Brook can just stay on his case, maybe he will crumble. Because the, the swag has gone out of him, it really has. He has to put punches together, though, Brook. Single right shot. Back. Exactly like that. That. that was good. Nothing coming back from Porter. Now he tries to get back on it. Oh, and he caught Brook with a left hand as well. One of those wide left hands. Brook didn't see it coming. And then just hangs on and ties up. He's tiring. Porter. He really yep, is. He's tiring badly, but he just keeps driving himself forward, and it's the natural strength that he has. It was a couple of rounds ago, I just thought you know, the power balance in this one is, is shifting, that Brook is starting to look more capable of bullying Porter. Early rounds, it was the other way around. Well, I think uh, Brook has produced a cleaner punching in this round. There we are, we're seeing it again. Still messy, still messy. It really is. Brook looking the fresher and landing clean again. That's what Brook needs, the space between them, get the punches off. Oh, Another one of those lefts though, there, Brook. Brook 
and just another one of those solid right hands that we've seen so many times down the years. What a difference it could make to his entire career. Well, he still seems to have plenty in the tank, Brooke. So now's the time to start pouring it out. Combinations. Oh. And press the judges as that left hook yeah, again. He's caught a few of those. Brooke. It's a clever little shot that Porter throws. And he switched it up from body to head so fast. But it is in burst now from Porter rather than that relentless pressure that we saw in the early rounds. And the head's all over the place. Porter looking to try and get on top here in the last few seconds. Catching a nice little right hand inside though, Porter. And Brooke outworking him inside. Oh, lovely. Catching him again. But he does take a shot so well, doesn't he? Good quality work. Terrific movement, you know, the smoothness in his boxing. He's not been able to produce that. Round 11. Six minutes for one of these two fellas to go and claim this title. Is Sean Porter going to keep it? Is Kel Brook going to take it back on a plane to Yorkshire? Great shot again from Brook. Porter was backing away, so he didn't quite feel the full force of it. Free hands, see that? Free hands, free hands. It's the eye-catching stuff. The longer this fight's gone, that's coming from Kel Brook. Free hands. Let him go. Porter is just, it's just whirlwind free stuff, but the quality's digging, not there. Yeah, he's digging in some really nice-looking punches. Brook, I have him two points behind at the moment. But yep, he looks the stronger of the two. I think he's paced it better. I think he has more in the tank. Porter's right hand has been less and less of a factor the longer this fight's gone on when he's doing damage, it's with those left hooks. There you go, watch your hands, watch your hands now. Just watch leaning your hands. on him there. Barry Awad in his corner just jumping up and urging him on. There's a real sense that they might just be able to do something here. As we reach the halfway point of round 11. Let him go, Kel, let him go. Free hands, look at that. Porter doesn't look to have an awful lot left. But he, he looked like this from round eight, Jim, and yet he keeps going. Yeah, but he's backing off a lot more. Good stuff from Brook. And again, Perfect. and again, Porter though, not Free looking hands. for anywhere to hide. Coming forward. He's not dominating these inside exchanges like he did earlier in the fight. And Brook trying to get the jab going there. Porter showing no head movement at all as he just came forward in a straight line. Yeah, and Porter's not finding the target with these punches. It's arms and shoulders and the back of the head that he's hitting when he gets up close. Yep, I think this is good stuff from Brooke again. It really is. I've got to be honest with you, Jim. At the halfway point, I thought he needed a miracle here, Brooke, but he's just pulled it back and pulled it back. And the longer it's gone on, the more you've liked him. Oh, got him again with the right hand. But See, Porter takes it so well. Yeah, but he's forced on to the defence if he didn't try to answer that one. I think that one shook him a little bit. He's been shaken a few times. His face and that right eye in particular are a bloody mess. He got through with one of those lefts again. He's trying to do some razzle-dazzle footwork that doesn't impress anybody, you would hope. Stop punching, take a step back, break, listen for that bell. Again, just a lot of uh, shake and bake Stop. from Porter. Great. Brooke Great. not interested, just outworking him. Last couple of seconds of this round. Another one that you have to like what Kel Brook did, and look at that, he's uh, raising his hand as he goes back to his corner. One round to go. Who can go out and grab this? What a terrific comeback it's been from Kel Brook. Can, can, he, put, can he put Sean Porter on the floor? Can he stop him? That really would be an achievement. Two and a half minutes left. And whatever happens, I'm going to repeat myself, Jim. Whatever happens, Kel Brook has shown that he is elite level. Yeah, it's terrific the way he stuck to the job, and it was really so tough in the early stages. He stuck with it, and he's turned things around in his favour. It's right up there with the kind of efforts we saw from Matthew Macklin in Germany and from Martin Murray in Buenos Aires. They didn't get the decisions then. I have a feeling Kel Brook's not going to get it here, but it's a it's a performance of comparable quality. It really is. Oh, 
Sean Porter again just lunging in. He's looked really out on his feet since round eight. He's in terrific condition. Yeah, he's just driving himself forward now. Kale wants a good round here. Porter doing everything in his power, not allow that to happen. He's backing off. Brooke. He's been sent out for one last charge, hasn't he, Brooke? Porter, rather. But uh, again, he's just wailing away, but nothing landing. Although, what do the judges make of all these punches getting thrown? They do like aggression, American judges. He's just not allowing Brooke to do anything in this round. And speaking of the judges, two of them are from the USA. Adelaide Bird from Nevada, next to Luca from California, and Dave Paris from England is also one of the three judges. It's going to come down to them, unless something sensational happens in this last minute. Uh, he's dragged something out of himself in this round, Porter. Yeah, hasn't he just wailing away at the body, but then getting tagged as well as Brooke just tries to stand with him toe-to-toe. -to -toe. A really good fight, this terrific the sort of fight you wouldn't mind seeing again. Stop punching, don't hold, let him go. And I think if Brooke doesn't get it, he will have learned so much from this because he did look tight and nervous in those first couple of rounds. And I'm sure he was thinking, Do I belong at this level? The answer, emphatic, yes, he does. Well, a tough last round, not much to split them. I felt that Brooke really needed a big round, but uh. Stop well, I'm thinking what we're thinking, it doesn't matter. Looking forward to seeing how the judges see this. Oh, the big right hand inside the last few seconds. Brooke finishing with a flourish, but he can't get this fella on the floor. He's ah, tough as tungsten, Sean Porter, and they're both standing at the finish. And it's going to come down to personal preference of three judges, but what an effort that was from, from Kel Brook, whatever the decision. A great effort. Dominic Ingalls starts the kidology, lifting him on his shoulders. Brooke goes round, milking the crowd. And I don't get the sense of uh, expectation from this crowd at all that Sean Porter has uh, impressed anybody because they are leaving in droves. People just walking out of this arena. This man has not imposed himself on this fight one little bit, even if he does nick the decision. Well, if you like the clean boxing, but certainly that, that came from Brooke. But in the early stages, we have to remember the first half of the fight when he was bulldozed and bullied around the ring, not allowed to do anything. And you, you would have to fancy the, the, the judges that would have been going with Porter at that stage. But the turnaround in the later stages of the fight has been terrific from Brook. I, I, I think Porter has just hung on to his title, but uh, it's one of those fights, pick what you like, and it's maybe one of those fights that if it had been back home, maybe the benefit of the doubt would have swayed towards Kel Brook. And I, so I, I, you I just have to see, wait, wait and see what the judges come up with. And I was just about to talk about those judges. A couple of those judges are known for what we could charitably call maverick cards. There's just no way of knowing what they're going to see and what they're going to like. It really is up in the air, this one. I just feel that uh, he took too long, really, to, to, to get himself into things at Brook. But, but, you know, he was pushed around in the early stages, but, but this guy really sagged the longer the fight went. That's what I was going to say, Jim, there's no sense in this camp at all of, of, of triumphalism, no, no sense of job done, we've done it. He's just relieved it's over, look at him. Yep, he's got nothing left. It's a lot tougher than they expected it to be. I don't know if it's the old American against the, the British fighter uh, attitude. Well, we're about to find out. I think we are very close. Here it comes. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Judge of ringside, Dave Paris scores about 114 to 114. Dave Paris sees it a draw. draw. Overruled by judges Max DeLuca, he scores about 117 to 111. That's and a shot, Adelaide man. Bird, who scores about 116 to 112. In favor of the winner, by majority decision, and the new... It's Kelbrook! It's Kelbrook's night! The special 
And just look at that reaction. Astonishing performance. And didn't he deserve it, especially over the second half of that fight, when he took over. That was terrific, that was terrific. I thought it took too long to get himself into the fight, but I couldn't be any more delighted. I'm, I'm still shocked at the 117-111. I don't know where that comes from, but who cares? At this point, who cares? What a night for Kel Brook. What a night for British boxing. What a night for South Yorkshire. What a night for the Engel camp. They've done it again. Kel Brook, world champion. Sean Porter, stunned. I've got to be honest, I'm stunned as well, but you can see Porter's face afterwards. They knew it. What a struggle that has been. Terrific performance, but the way Brook stuck with it, the way he turned things around in the last half of the fight was terrific. I agree with you, the 117 111, I don't know where that came from, but we'll take it, we'll take it with both hands and say thank you very much. Terrific stuff. Absolutely wonderful night for Kel Brook.